Happy Mother's Day to all the wonderful mothers out there. And today I'm making a re black raspberry, it's like a coffee cake, but I call it my black raspberry cake. It's really, really good and I'm bringing it next door to my neighbors for Mother's Day so they're going to be surprised. And this cake is really, really good. So happy Mother's Day to everybody out there and let's get in the kitchen and get started. Welcome to Cheryl's Home Cooking and today what I'm going to show you is my raspberry crescent cake. The first thing that I started out with is I preheated my oven to 350. I purchased two Pillsbury crescent rolls and in the bowl in front of me I have one 8 ounce package of cream cheese that I have at room temperature. I'll place that in my bowl. To this, I'll add in a fourth of a cup of sugar, two tablespoons of grated orange zest, this is so quick and so easy and really good, goes great with tea or coffee. one there's two to this I'll add in one egg tablespoon of vanilla extract Now I'll mix this until it's mixed well. You want it nice and creamy. And I'm there. Now I'll scrape the sides. And I'll fold in two cups of black raspberries. There's one. I'll gently fold it in. I don't want to break the raspberries. Looks good. There's two. I only have a couple extra. You know what? I'm just going to throw that in. That was one 12 ounce package that I threw in to my cream cheese sugar grated orange mixture. I figured with only about four or five raspberries left, I'll just toss it in. So now I'll place this off to the side. I have my circle baking dish. I'll spray it. I'll be taking my croissants, placing the point towards the center.
I'll place them a little bit closer. Now I'll open up my second package. I'll unroll the second can. You want to reserve four of them for the top. So one, two, and the fourth one. I'll place that there. Now what you're going to do is press the dough together. So I'm just taking my fingers and pinching the edges together. There you go. That's what it should look like. Now you fold the outer edges about a fourth of an inch. That's what it would look like. Almost looks like a pizza. Now I'll take my cheese mixture. Making sure to get it all because it's really good. Spread it out. This black raspberry crescent cake is really, really yummy. Now with the reserved crescents that I have on my bacon sheet, I'll sprinkle some sugar on top. Probably about two tablespoons that I'm using. With a pizza cutter, I'm going to cut it into thirds. And I'll place it over the filling. Make sure to place it sugar side up.
And that's what it should look like. This is really, really yummy. I can't wait to eat this. Now I'll place this in my 350 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes. Remember, ovens vary, so just keep an eye on it. Now for my glaze, I'm going to be using a half a cup of powdered sugar. I'll place that in my bowl. A tablespoon of butter that I have at room temperature. And the orange that I zest, I'm going to use the juice out of it. So the juice of one orange. Now I'll mix this all together. And then once my raspberry, my black raspberry croissant cake comes out of the oven, I'll drizzle this on top. And boy, is this good. Get a spatula, scrape the sides. And that's what it should look like. Now for cleanup duty. Oh yeah, that's looking good. Now all I have to do is wait till that turns a little golden brown, take it out, and boy, my neighbor's going to love this. Look at how good that looks. Now it's time for me to take my raspberry, my black raspberry cake out of the oven. I call it a cake, but it's more like a coffee cake. Oh yeah, look at that. Doesn't that look good? Mm-mm. Neighbors are really going to enjoy this. Just drizzle it on and it'll melt right in. Oh yeah. Mm -mm -mm. This looks super duper. Look at how good that looks. Boy, does it smell good. So thanks so much for tuning in to Home Cooking with Cheryl and watch me make my homemade black raspberry cake. Or you could call it a coffee cake and it's nice and cheesy. It's really, really good. I love it with coffee or with tea. So please give it a try. It's really good. It's quick and it's easy and yummy. So please follow me on Twitter. I'm also on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Pinterest, and on iFood.tv. I'll see you next video. Bye-bye. I'm going to try a little bite. So I'm taking my pizza cutter. Cutting a little piece off. Oh yeah. Ooh hoo. Doesn't that look good? Now I'll try a bite. I got the raspberry, the cheese, and the crescent. Mm-mm. -mm. Oh wow. Really, really good. Mm-mm-mm. Oh, yeah.
Mm -mm. The neighbors are going to love this. Wow, I can't believe how good this is. I love black raspberries. This came out so, so good. I highly recommend making it, and I know my neighbors are going to love it. I'll just tell them my husband took that piece. They'll never know. <laughs> so now I'm off to my neighbors.